Hello everyone. Today we are here to discuss about one of the major important topic of artificial intelligence, which is artificial intelligence and pharmaceutical manufacturing, pharmaceutical automation. So first of all, what do you actually mean by the term automation? Automation actually refers to the use of technology and machinery to perform tasks or processes with minimal amount of human intervention. In various industries, including manufacturing, healthcare, finance, and transportation, automation is basically being used to streamline of the operations, improve efficiency, reduce of the errors, and increase of the productivity. Automation can actually include a wide range of technologies, for example, robotics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, sensors, and software systems. Overall, automation basically plays a, plays a crucial role in modernizing and optimizing of the workflow across, uh, across the various factors, uh, sectors, leading to cost savings, quality improvements, and innovation. Automation in pharmaceutical industries. In the pharmaceutical industries, automation is actually being used to enhance the efficiency, accuracy, and quality throughout the processes, for example, production, packaging, and distribution of the pharmaceutical products. This includes various use of automation technology in the case of robotics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, automated packaging systems, and advanced analytics. Key areas of the pharmaceutical automation include drug discovery, formulation, mixing, quality control testing, packaging, labeling, inventory control, and regulatory documentation. Automation in the case of pharmaceutical industry, first of all, it is actually being used in the case of research and development. In the study, in silico testing was actually been conducted as a part of the drug discovery and development in electronic research and development (ERD). In silico tests are actually been performed using a computer-aided drug designing called as formulation-aided drug design. This project actually utilizes the software models based upon the mobile concept automation to calculate the melting points of the chemical substances. Another major important technology which is basically being used is actually called as R&D is robotics, especially the technology of controlling of the robots known to be as electromechanical systems, which are mainly responsible for it in various tasks throughout the R&D processes. Additionally, a separate prototyping technology involves a three-dimensional printing, which can actually create solid dosage forms with variety of comp capacities, complex inter internal geometries, and incorporation of the multiple drugs and experiments. The second major important usage is actually called in the case of preclinical trials and clinical trials. Random softwares are actually being used to perform of the bias and editing learning design. In preclinical research software, for example, electronic data photocopying, remote data capturing, and electronic case records are actually being used to store up the large amount of the data. Some of the major important software which are basically being used includes eClinical and Oracle Clinical, Clinical Conductor, Clinical Trial Management are actually being used. Automated inspection and packaging. The centralized computers efficiently monitor all the critical processes to keep up the quality of the products and the automated systems actually much efficient in order to perform up the QA QC testing which can actually be completely nullified. All the batches with non-compliance issues can actually be easily identified as the data regarding the batches are completely locked in the computer. Next we are coming on to packaging and labeling system. The packaging system actually uses different types of equipments, animation, wrapping, labeling, shrinkage, closing, tray building, assembling, cooling and drying, picking, installation by the help of robotic systems in addition to diagnostic and diagnostic equipments. Then we come on to sales and technology, sales and marketing. Through customer relationship management, CRM, software and sales force automation companies actually optimize up the interaction with the healthcare professionals while digital marketing automation basically is responsible for streamlining of the campaigns, ensuring of the personalized med messaging and compliance with the regulatory agencies. Pharmacy for sales. Strategies are actually been developed to facilitate up the potential distribution, including up electronic prescription ERX and duplicate electronic design ERD. Electronic prescription, direct pharmac pharmacies actually get up the prescription from the doctor, a paperless prescription, and electronic prescri electronic prescriptions are actually being used to provide up the protection, having up the access to the patient medical history from the doctors and assist with the prescription, prescription drugs that will not mix with the other prescription drugs that a particular patient actually takes. Need for automation in the case of pharmaceutical manufacturing includes increased demand and complexity, stringent regulatory requirements, optimization of the manufacturing operations, real-time monitoring and process controls, minimization of the human errors, scale-up and scalability, reduction of manufacturing costs, environmental sustainability. Now, automation in the case of pharmaceutical manufacturing includes first is precision in the case of dosing and mixing. Okay, the dosing and mixing are two of the major important criteria which can actually be achieved, okay, which are really responsible for achieving in the case of desired formulation and ensuring that each batch of the medication actually contains of the correct ingredients in the correct proportion. Second, tablet compression and tablet coating. Automated tablet compression machines are actually being used which are responsible for providing up the adequate amount of the compression forces applied to the powder mixture resulting in the formulation of the different type of the tablets. Similarly, automated coating machines are also being used in order to apply up the coatings which are responsible for masking of the taste of the tablets. Third, sterile filling and sealing. Automated filling and sealing equipments actually operate up in control environments to maintain up sterility during the process of packaging of the sterile pharmaceutical products, for example, injectables and barrel solutions. These machines actually utilize up the advanced technologies, for example, isolated and restricted access barrier systems, RABS, to control up the contamination. 
Then we come on to cleaning and sterilization. Automated cleaning and sterilization systems actually utilize validated cleaning protocols and sterilization cycles to ensure the manufacturing equipments. For example, automated cleaning in place CIP and sterilization in place SIP systems are actually being used to minimize up the downtime and labor requirements following up the GMP standards. Fifth, integration of the manufacturing operations. Automation basically integrates our various type of manufacturing operations, which includes material handling, formulation, granulation, drying, compression, coating, packaging, labeling, etc. into a cohesive and synchronized process. Data management and traceability. Automation system basically captures and stores up the data at each of the stage of the manufacturing process, including raw material concept, in-process testing, equipment monitoring, and finished good processes. Okay, comprehensive data management system basically facilitates up the traceability by linking up the batch records, electronic signatures, enabling up the pharmaceutical companies to track up the movement and transformation of the materials through the supply chain. Now, what are the advantages of automation in the case of pharmaceutical manufacturing? Reducing cost, increases productivity, enhancing quality, industrial safety, accurate results, better working conditions, monitoring and productive maintenance, equipment and monitoring, and reducing the cost. And disadvantages includes dependency on the technology, worker displacement, need larger scale expenditure, cyber security risk can become redundant, lack of flexibility and maintenance and support requirements. Now, automation in the case of tablet manufacturing, first of all, we are basically coming on to some of the challenges which are basically being faced, which includes inconsistent tablet quality. Manual tablet compression machine actually resulted up in variations in the case of tablet weight, hardness, dissolution profiles, etc., leading to product quality issues. Slow production speeds. Manual operations were actually time consuming and labor sensitive, limiting production capacity and responsiveness to the marketing demands. Compliance concern. Manual data recording and documentation processes increasing up the risk of the errors and non-compliance by the good manufacturing practices and regulatory requirements. Some of the major important challenges which have which basically been facing during the process of pharmaceutical manufacturing. Now, what are actually the key components of the automation solution? First of all, automated tablet press. We are actually having of the high speed tablet compression machines, which are basically been built up in in sensors and control systems that are actually been installed to ensure of the precise choosing uniform compression and consistent tablet quality. Integrated process control system, a centralized process control system was actually been implemented to monitor and control up the critical process parameters. Automated cleaning in place systems are mainly responsible for integrating up the tablet press and associated equipment to facilitate up the process of efficient cleaning and sterilization between the different batches to minimize up the contamination. Data management software, electronic health records software are actually been employed to automate up the data capturing, reporting, and documentation processes. Training and change management, comprehensive training programs have actually been conducted to familiarize up the operators and staff with the new automated systems and processes. And what were actually the results which have basically been followed? Improved product quality. Automation actually resulted up in improved product quality, leading to significant improvements in the product quality and consistency. For example, variations in tape, tablet weight, hardness, and dissolution were actually been minimized. Second, increased production efficiency. The automated production line significantly increased up the production speeds and throughout allowing up the company to meet growing marketing demands. Third, enhanced compliance. Automated streamlined data recording and documentation processes basically improved the compliance with the GMP and regulatory requirements. Operational excellence. Automation actually enhanced the operational efficiency, reliability, flexibility, enhancing up, enabling up the company to achieve operational excellence and competitive advantage in the case of pharmaceutical industries. Thus, the implementation of the automated system not only improved up the operational performance, but also position of the company for future growth and innovation in the highly competitive pharmaceutical industries. Okay, now a case study which has basically been followed up for the automated liquid management system includes uh, the following are basically the main points of the customer. Pump failure due to wrong operation, poor safety precautions by the site professionals, human error causing spillage of the costly liquid, natural disasters, less liquid sensing equipment. The main purpose of fluidine PLC based automation is actually to completely automate up a system, leaving no room for the process of human error. Mahindra team ensured and trusted up to them with responsibility of design, construction, and testing of the automated liquid transfer, dispensing, and filtration systems for their manufacturing plants. The solution that were actually been brought up in advantage to MN Group Avar, the system was actually been built in, was built in house and required no human intervention. The entire fib fiber optic, optic line is actually been run in redundant two way loop. Fluidine make trip free guns enable up to 100% replace applications. Data has actually been carried to PLC via Ethernet, which is actually a de facto standard in plant auto automation. Two stages control values are actually been used in order to get a more accuracy in the case of batch quality. Troubleshooting is basically becoming very easy and does not require skilled laborers. Each PLC control panel is actually been powered by high reliable SMS SPMS softwares. Statistical records can actually share on daily, weekly, and monthly with the main servers. Data is actually been accessed by a master fluid and control panel with aesthetic HMI pro label and capable of quick dispensing to achieve more the maximum productivity per shift. These are some of the major important type of the solutions which have basically been brought up in the case of automated liquid management system by MNM Limited. Thank you everyone.